Hello, this is Eileen, the environmental educator. And in this video, I could do a video a day about electric batteries and just how dangerous they are. But today is August 19th, 2024. And what they're saying is that toxic fumes from the Telsa EV semi-fire shut down I-80 in Sierra. Of course, the batteries smoldered for hours. They're still smoldering. This was covered right here by CBS and Yahoo. It's just been covered a bunch of places. Here is current highway conditions. It says in Northern California and Sierra Nevada is closed. And it says due to a vehicle fire. And it doesn't say an ETA on opening this because as of right now, there isn't one. Yeah, I IED is uh, closed indefinitely because uh, the firefighters have to let it burn. This is in a remote area, so there's no real water supply. An electric Telsa semi left the road. They say it was like at 3.13 in the morning. And the immense battery pack and the crash site remoteness have made it difficult to fight, forcing California authorities to keep the arterial highway closed with no estimated reopening time. These battery fires can take days because they can go out and then they'll start again. The best thing to do is submerge them in water, but... Right here, right, say around 3.13 a.m. It's unclear why it lost control, but it did. And emergency responders, a hazmat team has been sent out because the Telsa Semi has a battery pack many times the size of a passenger EV. And the firefighters have no playbook for extinguishing one that's burning. So they say they have to let the batteries burn out themselves, however long that may take. It could take days. Containing the batteries fire spread has also been complicated by the site's less developed nature as the lack of nearby hydrants has forced the firefighters to bring in a portable reserve that is being refilled by tanker trucks. The firefighters said that the fire produced quite the plume of smoke Early on, as firefighters rushed to fight the flames with chemicals, by 9 a.m. the fire was still smoldering. And from what I know about electric battery fires, it will smolder for a long time. And right here, this CBS article, this it says this is what it looked like when the firefighters initially got to the scene, just off the side of the road. And they say the battery itself, you can't just spray water on it to put it out. It either takes some sort of dry chemical or very huge amount of water. I've heard as much as 40,000 gallons and 80 is just going to be closed. And that same guy also said that it's not like big flames, but they are putting out super heat and fumes, the toxic fumes that are coming from this battery, batteries. And the fumes are so bad, the authorities had to create a half mile buffer zone around the fire to keep toxic fumes from injuring bystanders and motorists, not to mention the, the firefighters themselves. And the smoke is so toxic that firefighters have to rotate on and off the scene as the smoke coming from the wreckage was described by the California Highway Patrol as toxic. He said that they have to wear full breathing apparatus complete with oxygen tanks to safely do their jobs, which is also why they have set up that half mile perimeter to keep the public safe. So right now, the stretch from I-80 that will be closed will be as far away as the Nevada state line. And here's the map of 80. <laughs> it goes from New Jersey out to California all, all the way across the state. So somewhere right up here, when, when you're in the Sierra Nevadas in Northern California, that's about where it happened here. But this is just another, what, uh, there's a story of this a day. But usually it doesn't happen where it is closing down a major highway indefinitely. 
<laughs> I, I'm not sure all, all the little side roads up here where the people can get off and be detoured and get back onto I-80, but that's what I'm sure they're setting up out there right now, people. So you just never know. You could be driving by and you could have gotten out to see if you could help and taken in toxic fumes. These, uh, I don't care if Donald Trump tells Elon that he's doing a good job. <laughs> he's not. These Telsas are nothing that we need. And maybe if the batteries were made from hemp, I know I've said it a million times here before, but that's a fact. So just a, a little update here on another bad electric battery story. Stay tuned, people.